god, I didn't like see you guys, so like give me a sec. I'll just clean up this chaos. Okay guys, so um I thought of doing the part um three for the advanced words in English, but um you know you can't always do the same thing or the same concept um every time. So I thought of doing something which is gonna be more funny and better. So let's move into the video. But before we go inside, I just wanted to tell what we're gonna do. But the title says we're gonna have the um uh, <clears throat> American, British, Indian, uh, Australian, uh, different vocabulary. So we are gonna have 60 pictures today. So we will um, look up for what is what is called in each country. So I also wanna. I guess this video is gonna be like about 20 minutes, but I just wanted to make the 60 uh, pictures and tell you what it is in 15 minutes. So. Um, so per word, uh, per, per minute, I got it to four words. So after this five minutes of intro is done, we're going to go for a rapid fire round. And I'm going to tell you another thing. If a word is complex, like, or like so confusing, I'm going to repeat the word for two times. So when I'm going to repeat it two times, I'm going to tell what country is it called in. Because if I'm going to be like normally going, I'm just gonna tell like the words which is called in different countries. I'm not gonna say the word they call, but the other is gonna be like American, British, Indian, Australian. So this is the order. This is the order where I'm gonna say. So if I'm gonna be like going faster, so for example, I'm gonna tell uh, pizza. So the pizza is gonna be pizza, 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 pizza. So it's like that. So um, that's what it's gonna be like. If the word is complex. I'm just gonna like repeat it twice and tell the country name so you can like get a more clear view. Uh, so I guess uh, let's go to the gusto and start this video. shot so it's gonna be so quick I have um, a book for reference so I am not a robot for like having 60 words in my mind and memory I tell you guys so it's gonna be so quick so let's start up with the first picture I met the 60 pictures so I'm so excited to start uh, this thing which is gonna be like helping people a lot so let's start so this is the first picture we are looking at so the first picture, so this picture is called cup, glass, glass, cup. British and Indian like follow a specific way of telling it. So if it's going to be a ceramic cup, it's just a cup. If it's going to be a plastic cup or a paper cup, so that's what it's going to be called. So this is the second picture, guys. So this second picture is a car. This car. So this is called car in America. Trolley, trolley, trolley. Worst of the countries are trolley. So it's just car in America. But uh, Indian people don't know what is card, so they just don't use it. So next word is this word, guys. It, not the word. If I'm gonna like tell you guys word, you just gotta take it as a picture, right? Because I'm so used to the word word. So this uh, picture is a refrigerator in America, British, fridge, fridge, fridge. So um, uh, Indians, British, and Australians just are so lazy, so they just, uh, use a contraction words. So next picture is this picture. So this picture is called a zucchini, which is available in different colors. So, uh, which is like we're not okay. So that's zucchini, 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 zucchini. Well, I made a mistake there. British. It's not a zucchini. It's a courgette. It's courgette, right? It's a courgette in British. Next picture is this picture. This I I kind of like the vegetable, uh, but. Okay, so this is a eggplant, aubergine, brinjal, eggplant. 
So it's um, di di different in three countries, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll repeat again, American eggplant, British aubergine, Indian brinjal, Australian eggplant. So next word we're going for is this word. So this word, um, every people or kind of kids like this, so it's cotton candy, candy floss, cotton candy, fairy floss. So it's cotton candy America, British uh, fairy uh, candy floss, Indian cotton candy, Australian fairy floss. So next we're going for this. So what do you call this store? I'm like asking for the store. So it's like a grocery store. It's a grocery store in America. The shops, just the shops in British. And it's kind of the uh, supermarket or the departmental store in India. And uh, whereas in Australia, it's a shopping center or the shopping center. So we're going for this thing. So in these um, uh, shops, we'll get this in a particular section. So it's going to be candies, sweets. Indian doesn't have any like specific things for this, so it's just going to be chocolates and jellies. Um, whereas in Australia, it's candies. That's it. And now we're going for this word. We are going to do this pronunciation. So this pronunciation is herbs. Americans don't pronounce the H. So herbs. Where the rest of the countries pronounce the H. So it's herbs, herbs, herbs. So next word is this word where people have a lot of confusion. So like when you're going for a door or going to immigrate and immigrate to another country. So please use these words and look out for it. So this picture is a cookie in America. British is biscuit. Um, Indian is biscuit. Uh, um, um, or what was the uh, Australian is biki or Christmas biki. So the next word is this one. So this one is chips crisps chips chips and the next word is this word chips crisps chips chips so whereas i told you guys i made a little bit mistake here when it's like this this picture it's french fries in american british it's chips fries in india chips in uh, australia when it's gonna be this one like the potato chips it's gonna be chips in uh, America, crisps, chips, chips. So it doesn't matter what kind of chips is in it, Australia because they like use these words, hot chips or french fries and chips are just chips for us. So it's gonna be like that. Um, next we're gonna go for this word, which is it's it's just common as I can see that. So we are just gonna be calling like what the common name or casually what do you like call it. So it's veggies, wedge, vegetables veggies next is this picture which is like kind of a um, not related to children so it's an ABC store in America British is enough license um, uh, um, India is liquor store and where in the America Australia is bottle bottle in uh, Australia so uh, I have an activity for you so you gotta like such was ABC stand for in the America. It's it's like you know it's really really related to the government in America. So you gotta like do that and put it in the comments. So the next picture we're going for this picture. So this picture is pickles, the kids pickles pickles. Indian people call them pickles, but the chefs at the um a seven store or five store bottles know what gherkins are. So you please you you use pickles. Okay, so the next word is this word. I mean the picture. So this looks like an oven, but like you when you grill things or grill broil things. So this is a broiler in America, a grill griller in a British, and just a grill in India, and it's gonna be the grill in Australia. So don't tell what's a broil. Don't come and do what is a broil. Don't come and tell what what's. A broiler in uh, India because Indian people, um, you know, come to know about the broiler chicken, so they come to know about species and broiler chicken, so they're gonna give you a live animal. Animal, I mean, well, uh, okay, okay, there we go. So, this growth. The next word is this word, it's favorite for me, all the children out there, and the grandmas out there, and grandpas out there. So, it's a popsicle, ice lolly, stick ice cream, icy pole. I love all the four words. So the next word picture is this picture. This picture is oatmeal, porridge, porridge, oatmeal. 
next picture is this picture. This is used in pantries and all kitchens or stuff. So this is silverware, cutlery, cutlery, cutlery. So yeah. Next picture is this picture, which have a lot of confusion between peoples and um, uh, uh, young peoples. So this is a skillet, frying pan, pan, and both. It's used as a skillet, also as a frying pan in Australia. So next we're going for this. So this store where you get all the medicines and stuff. So this is a drugstore in America, chemist, pharmacies, pharmacy store, or uh, yeah, pharmacy store. So don't come and tell the Indians the drugstore because they're going to think of narcotics. So it's, drug means like literally narcotics. So don't tell them uh, drugstores. So tell them pharmacies or medical shop in like a urban style. So next is this thing. So this thing is a crock pot, crock pot, slow cooker, cooker, pressure cooker, pressure cooker in Australia. So next we're going for a this word, which is another form of the same utensil we like looked before. It's a crock, it's a just a pot, it's a saucepan. We don't call this by names in India, so it's just like utensil or a cooking utensil. So yeah, it's just a utensil, it's a pit in Australia. Pam in Australia. So the next word is this. It's just very, very fine sugar, okay? It's confectionery sugar, icing sugar, icing sugar, icing sugar. The next picture is this picture. It's beets, beetroot, beetroot, both. You just use beetroot and also beets. Next picture is this picture. So cilantro, coriander, coriander, both. Cilantro and coriander. Cilantro is only known in like South America, but not there America, but it's like it came from or originated from South America. So you can use cilantro. Indian people does not know about this or the British never use this word. So it's just cilantro and coriander, coriander, cilantro. The next word is this picture. So this we it's not a picture, it's just a word we're gonna pronounce this, okay? It's oregano, oregano, oregano. Oregano. So it's just like uh, uh, Australia and America are both same, Indian and British are both same, and all the others are um, contrasted. So next word is this picture. So this picture is, I'm, I'm not like mentioning the cupcakes and what is top of it. So top of it is the frosting, icing, icing, um, you know you can also use icing as well as frosting so it doesn't really matter. But many people, um, many in Indian people, Indian people use the word cream, so they know what I said. So the cupcakes on top of it is cream, not icing, so we just use cream too. But we know what is icing is, as well as frosting. So next we're going for this picture. So I'll uh, the same picture as the last time, or I don't know, maybe we put sprinkles on top of it. Um, so that's what we call it in India. So whereas it's uh, sprinkles in America, hundreds and thousands, hundreds and thousands of British sprinklers in India and uh, sprinkles in Australia. And next we're going for this thing. So this is not a thing. I know that. What why it come from out of the uh, OTG Owen? What is it called? It's a bullet mignon. It's bullet mignon in uh, America. Bullet steak just a beef or we don't have any specific name for the cows which come out of it so it's just a, a beef and it's both us uh, it's uh, a both in australia you call it a filaminia and also a full stick so that's what it is next we're going for this word this is the 30th word and we are gonna have it in our Australia has a special thing when it's like a big thing, it's a prawn. When it's like a small thing, it's a shrimp. When it, the size matters, so they use both of them. Both they're not similar, both they're not the same in the Australia. So let's go for the inner well and. Um. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and support me by subscribing my channel. Comment. Don't if you don't like it, don't dislike it. Just um, put it in the comments to like what should be. Uh, adjusted or something so um, um, 
I'm gonna post another video in a short time by now so uh, it's gonna be the same video and the same dress and the same um, background so I decided to do it because uh, the video uh, I took was too long and so I decided to split it into sections so I'm not gonna like post it in parts so it's gonna be in sections um, yes guys so thank you so much um, yeah I guess they're gonna be totally four parts so please be waited for that and um, all the best for the unrelenting pandemic be safe and be home and don't forget to subscribe